It's now been a decade since a tornado ripped through southern Indiana, destroying a school, dozens of homes, and claiming 11 lives. That powerful tornado devastated the small community of Henryville. WLKY's Lauren Adams returned there today to talk with survivors and those who helped in the aftermath. On March 2, 2012, Kyle Lewis chose this room, then an athletic office at Henryville's junior senior high school, to shelter in place as a tornado ripped through town. You could feel the pressure build up in, in our ears, so we got, two of us got under a desk and uh, sounded like kind of a best analogy I can use, like a, a train that came through the building. As the tornado hit the school, Lewis was just a few dozen yards from the gym, where winds tore off the roof in mere seconds but he managed to escape without a scratch. It was a lucky day for him to go. On patrol, Clark County's Chief Deputy Scotty Maples worried early on about what he would find. It wasn't just the school that was hit, dozens of homes had been destroyed. You know, as we would go to house to house, we'd put an X on the door if there was a door left, you know, so somebody wouldn't search it again, showing that there was no, no casualties in there. Um, and then house by house, fortunately, we weren't finding, you know, any, any loss of life. It was later determined it was an EF4 tornado that hit the school with winds so strong it actually picked up a school bus and pushed it into a nearby diner right here across the street. A gas station was also completely destroyed and nearby at a car lot, the windows of every single car were blown out. We actually lost uh, 84 cars total. Paul Belcher says his family's car lot looked like a junkyard, but that was nothing compared to what he found at home. After waiting out the storm in his basement, he rushed to help neighbors. She kept saying, Where, where's my husband? Where's Wayne? Where's Wayne? So we just frantically started like looking through debris and stuff. And then we found him laying underneath the refrigerator. That man was the only fatality in Henryville. As for the school children who had been sent home early, they were spared. I'm strong in my faith and I think that uh, definitely it was it was an act of God to get the kids to safety that day. In Henryville, Lauren Adams, WLKY News. A remembrance ceremony will be held this Saturday evening from 5 to 8 at the Henryville Community Association on North Ferguson. That place became a central meeting spot and drop-off location in the days following the 2012 tornado.